A cardiac arrest occurs when there's an electrical disturbance to the heart and the heart can't pump out enough oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. A heart attack is different. In a heart attack, a portion of the heart's muscle does not receive enough oxygenated blood and oftentimes it affects the pumping function of the heart. What we often do with our athletes is we'll have a pre-participation examination to help screen for any abnormalities that make us more prone to developing cardiac arrest. We're fortunate here at RWJ Barnabas Health and Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center in conjunction with the Morahan Center for Athletes. We have screening programs for our young athletes several times throughout the year. If you have any questions about screenings, heart-wise, similarly concussion-wise, please reach out to us or your local physicians with these questions. We try to screen the best we can to pick up any issues that may predispose to a cardiac arrest. However, no matter how good our screenings are, an unfortunate tragic event may still occur. The most important thing is to recognize that there is an issue on the field and get our medical responders there as quickly as possible. One of the most important things to do in case of a cardiac arrest is to recognize it and then start CPR as quickly as possible. We're fortunate locally, a lot of our fields, schools have AEDs, which are defibrillators on site, which can be used if necessary to help restore the heart's rhythm back into a normal rhythm. We wanna call 911 as quickly as possible to get that medical personnel there on site if they're not there already. And having coaches and bystanders perform CPR is crucial as well. We often work with our local schools and athletic programs to develop emergency action plans that we have in place so we know exactly what to do in these terrible settings. If you have any questions about facilitating or creating an emergency action plan, please reach out to us here. We're happy to help.